Hello everyone, this is Flavia. I'm an artist from Vancouver, Canada, and I love drawing really cute things. So I thought I'd share with you this tutorial of how to draw your very own super cute fairy kitten. In order to draw my fairy kitten, what I'll be using for this tutorial are a pencil and eraser, a fine brush pen in black, a koi watercolor set, white jelly rolls, and some sparkly jelly rolls to add a bit of sparkle to my fairy kitten. So let's get started. Here is my piece of watercolor paper. It is in a square format and I'm using one that is 8 inches by 8 inches big. You can choose any paper size that you'd like. So let's start by sketching the shape of the head. I'll be making a very round circle for the head. You want to keep things really round and plump around the edges just so that it can make your character look extra cute. As for the body of the character, I'll be sketching a similarly sized round plump shape. When you have a head to body ratio of about 1 to 1, it helps to keep your character look super cute. So when I sketch my character, I really like to have action lines showing which way my character is facing. As you can see here with my fairy kitten, I have a line showing that her face is making a 3 quarter turn and so is her body. While you're sketching, don't forget that it's totally okay to add or to take away any elements of your sketch that you're not completely happy with. So we're now done our sketch. Everything is mapped out, all the elements are where we want it to be, so we're ready to move on to the next stage, which is inking. For the inking stage of this drawing, I'll be using Sakura's Pigma brush pen. I'll be using the brush pen in a fine nib. So this pen actually comes in three different sizes. They have a fine, a medium, and a bold. But the fine is my favorite because I love all the details that you can get with it. When I ink, I really like to take my time with the details and I like to go slow. I sometimes also go back on top of the lines just to make the weight of the line a little bit thicker in certain areas. Since our fairy kitten is a very cute character, we want to make sure that all the lines are curved in all the right places. You don't want to have any lines that are too angular because this will make your character look not as cute. Remember, anything that is round and plump will always look cuter than something that is angular and straight. For the antenna of my fairy kitten, instead of drawing a thick stroke for the circle, I'll be making little strokes to give it a fuzzy pom-pom feeling. Don't forget that you're allowed to turn the piece of paper. As you can see in the tutorial, I've already turned my piece of paper several times. This helps me achieve these curved lines when I'm inking. There's no rule in drawing saying that your paper must face a certain way at all times. Once the sketch is completely erased from my drawing, I now like to go back into the eyes and then add lines. These lines will cross over each other in a pattern that will help bring depth to my character's eyes and help to give it a little life. Now that I'm completely done inking, I can start on the watercolor portion of it. So watercolors are really nice because it's really forgiving in nature, so if you make a mistake, which I often do a lot myself, um, but if you make a mistake, it's okay because you can easily sort of wash your mistake away by adding a little bit of water or taking a tissue and trying to lift the pigment off. For my flowers, I started off using a pink, but while the area is still damp, I'm going to put a little bit more of purple on top just so it can blend better too. 
So that's a really cool thing about watercolor is anytime that it's still wet, you're still able to manipulate that area. Something that I like to do when using watercolors is keeping a separate piece of watercolor paper next to me as a test strip. So every time I pick up a new color, I often like to test it on my test strip first, just so I can get some of the pigment off a little so it's not so harsh once I put it onto the paper, and just so I can see what the color actually looks like. Watercolors are also great for layering, so make sure you're patient and that you really take your time. Keep in mind that watercolors will usually dry lighter, so don't be afraid to really layer it on. It may seem really pigmented and dark, but once it dries, it will probably be lighter than you expected. When you're working with watercolors, don't forget to take short breaks between your layers of watercolor to ensure that it's fully dry before you move on to the next layer. So I've decided to make my background pink. I want to give it a very surreal and cloudy kind of feeling. So in order to achieve this, I'm not going to be using just one shade of pink, but rather I'm going to be using a couple shades of pink and a little bit of purple. This will help add depth and dimension for my background. In the background, I'll be making sure that some areas are more saturated with color, while other areas are more diluted with water. This helps to create depth so that it will actually look like our fairy kitten is floating in some pink fluffy clouds rather than just chilling on a piece of paper. Now that my painting is dry, I'll be using a couple of different jelly rolls to help highlight certain features and details in my painting. Using a white jelly roll, I will then draw circles in my fairy kitten's eyes to show which direction she is looking at. Since this is a fairy kitten, I do believe that her wings should have a little bit more sparkle, so I'm going to use a sparkly jelly roll to make a little pattern on her wings. I've chosen to use a yellow sparkly jelly roll to help highlight the little pom-pom antennas that she has and to highlight the center of the flowers. The last detail that I will be adding with jelly rolls will be to the background. Using a white, yellow, and silver jelly roll, I'll be adding little stars and sparkles into the pink background. Once the stars have been added to the background, our fairy kitten is complete. So here she is. Isn't she cute? I'm sure she'll be off to do some magical things. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video and had fun following along. If you would like to see more of my artwork, you can always visit my Instagram at catskinpuke. If you would like to learn more about the products used in this video, please visit sakuraofamerica.com. See you next time.